Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a cook with me. You may have seen my previous video from basically this morning where I was doing my food haul which was only my keto related foods but I am going to be making a bolognese. I was planning on doing a chili but I'm gonna to have to make a bolognese because I went on human. Um, what else am I making? Burger casserole and like a chicken alfredo type of thing. Um, I'm putting spinach in the bolognese and the chicken and I'm doing bacon in the burger casserole. So I'm just doing super, super simple recipes without too many ingredients. And yeah, I hope you like it. See you in a sec. <laughs> so as you can see here, I've got my turkey thighs ready in my tray. I'm not putting any seasoning on them because I am just gonna take the skins off in a minute. So pop the oven closed and put it on around about 200 degrees on a fan assisted oven that is degrees Celsius. I don't know the translation, sorry. Um, <laughs> but I do that for about 40 minutes. Just leave them to cook off and when they're done, open the oven and pop them out. I promise you that is steam, not smoke. It looks really, really smoky, but it really isn't. Um, if you look in the background, you can see I'm watching Bailey Serian on my tablet. Just while I'm doing all of this, I literally watch her all day. So I will link her in the description down below, but I, like, I'm not affiliated with her or anything. So if you are interested in what I'm watching, that's it. But I've popped all those chicken thighs onto a plate. And now I'm going to make my um, bolognese sauce. As I say, I was planning to make a chili, but I'm making a bolognese. So plum tomatoes are pretty much always in stock. So it's easier to use in the pandemic um, plum tomatoes rather than chopped tomatoes. And then I'm going to top up that can with some water and I'm going to throw that straight in there as well. And then I'm going to add some of my seasonings to the blender. So I'm using a half teaspoon measurer and I'm adding half a teaspoon of thyme. One and a half teaspoons of oregano. So that's three scoops basically. Um, if you have any basil, I would add about two teaspoons of basil as well, but I didn't realise I didn't have any until too late. <laughs> two teaspoons of onion granules. You can, of course, use an actual onion if you wanted to. Just chop it up and fry it off to put in. But personally, I prefer to use onion granules when I'm trying to keep my carbs down. I add as much parsley as I can because I love parsley. So I tend to add like three of these hooped up. Hooped up? You know what I mean. <laughs> I can't even think of the word right now. Um, the, you know, overflowing spoons. Uh, anyway, yeah, so we've got two oxo cubes here, beef oxo cubes. I think I ended up actually using three, but you just crush them inside the packet and then you open them up straight over the blender to let them fall in. It's a lot easier to crush them up like that than trying to do it outside the packaging. We're just going to whiz that up in our blender. Doesn't matter how high it is, you're just whizzing it up basically. But I did realise at this point that I forgot my garlic. I am very sensitive to garlic, but I do like the taste of it in my bolognese. So I literally only added about half a teaspoon to this recipe. Just to give it a slight garlic twinge without it upsetting my stomach, which it pretty much always does. <clears throat> and I'm going to blitz that back up. So today I'm using... 500 grams of 20% mince. That just happened to be the cheapest mince there. You can use whichever mince you like. And I'm going to obviously just cut it open and chuck it straight into my pan. And I'm going to take the paper off the top. I'm going to turn the heat on, kind of a medium heat. And I'm just going to give it a mix up um, before I dampen the tea towel, or in this case, piece of kitchen roll because I couldn't find the tea towels. And I'm just going to wipe these mushrooms clean as I go because they are absolutely filthy, this packet. This was a click and collect from Morrison's and I'm only new to Morrison's, but these are absolutely filthy. So it took me ages. I'm going to chuck the entire punnet of mushrooms chopped roughly into the bolognese. I didn't want to fry them off early this time because I kind of wanted the chunkier texture. Normally I fry them off earlier. So whilst that's cooking down, I'm just going to take the skin off all of my chicken thighs because I'm going to save those. You can kind of like wrap them or make them as crisps and stuff like that. But 
I just take the skin off. They're a bit too hot for me to completely shred down. As you've noticed, I've got a little bit in my plastic bowl at the back there. But those are my chicken skins on the side, ready to go when I need them. Just chuck them in the oven if you want them crispy or in the microwave if you want to use them as a wrap. So I've shredded all of that chicken off the bone. I'm just weighing it here on the same plate I used earlier, um, but you can't see the scales until in a second. It came to about 15 ounces, or I think it came to exactly 15 ounces. So I'm going to pour it straight back into the bowl. I did weigh this for the purpose of putting it into my carb manager as a recipe so that I can calculate it. Although, to be honest, so far I haven't actually filled it in, but hey-ho. I shredded it up with the forks just because it's a lot easier than doing it with my hands while it's still hot. And I added an entire packet of Philadelphia cream cheese. You can also use like whatever cream cheese you want. But I added an entire one. I decided to go with the flavoured just so I didn't have to add my own seasoning because I felt lazy-ish today. I wasn't really in the mood to keep trying to figure out my seasonings. But you can see here, I'm just writing down how much of each of my measured ingredients I put in each thing. So I'll show you that at the end, but that's for the sake of my carb manager. I'm gonna add my sauce into my bolognese, just pour it straight in there, and I'm gonna whack the heat up to a higher heat just to bring it up to the boil before I let it simmer down. Basically, that's the bolognese done. I mean, you've just gotta let it kind of chill out. Oh yeah, I do add spinach in a minute. I forgot about that, but yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let that heat up i added the entire pot of single cream to that but i forgot to film it um it was 150 mils and i just wanted to kind of thin it out very slightly which is why i use single cream you could use double cream you could completely omit this or add more cream cheese it's entirely up to you but this is just what i wanted to do today it's what i had it's what i used so once that's all mixed well and you can see my pan is starting to boil up I'm just going to chop down my spinach. This is the worst way to chop spinach. Don't do it. It doesn't work. It took me forever to get this to chop down. If you're going to do it roughly like I did it, you want to do it in smaller batches because this took me literally ages. It really, really annoyed me. So for the spinach for the like chicken mixture, I ended up doing individual leaves and kind of stacking them on top of each other and slicing them that way which was easier it just took more time um so i mixed that spinach into the bolognese popped it to the back to carry on simmering whilst i heated up my chicken mixture and added the spinach to that i only heated it up because i wanted to wilt the spinach down you don't have to do this because your chicken is already cooked and i do plan to eat it cold but i don't like raw spinach i never did so you can see here, I'm just dishing it up into my three containers. I think I had just over like one scoop per container. So I'm just going to pop all that straight in. That was very slow. I'm sorry, but I'm going to pop all the lids on and just leave that to chill out and cool down so that I can pop it in the fridge or the freezer or whichever. I think I put two in the fridge and one in the freezer later on. So let's move back on to our bolognese. We're gonna tip that out. These containers are much bigger. They don't look much bigger on the camera, but they do hold two servings per container. They are huge. So I only divvied these up into two and I'm gonna use these for evening meals with my partner because he does like this bolognese when I make it. He has his with pasta. I tend to have mine with whatever vegetable I fancy that night, or sometimes I literally just put cheese on it. I don't, I mean, it just depends on what mood I'm in. But those are there, ready to chill out. And now I'm going to make my, um, what am I making? Burger casserole. So, <laughs> I find it a lot easier to chop up my bacon using scissors. You can do it with a knife or whatever you want. You can get bacon lardons as well, but I just chopped it up this way because this bacon was pretty cheap and pretty easy to work with. I don't know where I've gone. Where have I gone? I ran away. <laughs> no, I went to get my spoon. <laughs> so I'm going to use my wooden spoon, just any big spoon will do it doesn't matter what you use I find it easier with that to break it down and stir it up and when that starts to cook I'm going to get my pickles or pickle gherkins for me you'll just know them as pickles and I have measured out 100 grams of pickles and 50 grams of the pickle juice I'm just going to chop up relatively small 
because you do need those pickles to give it kind of a burger flavor if that makes sense and again i've got another packet of that 20 percent fat um, mince and i'm just going to chuck that straight in with my bacon i did notice that i put the knife on the shame chopping board but bear in mind that this is the last meal that I do using this chopping board and that everything on it is going into the casserole and it is going to cook. So don't worry about me cross-contaminating my raw meat and my vegetable because normally I wouldn't do that. But I kind of figured, you know what, it's all going into the same place. So might as well this time. So I'm going to pour in that pickle juice and I'm just going to stir it up really, really well. And just to kind of let it infuse a little bit with mince. And then I think I throw in my pickles next. Yes, I do. I throw in my pickles and mix them straight up. You can still see I'm watching Bailey Serian in the background. Oh, I love that woman. She's amazing. So I'm just going to stir that straight up and leave that to chill out for a minute whilst I get my cream cheese. Again, I'm using the garlic and herb Philadelphia cream cheese. You can use whatever you like. But this is what I like. I just ate this actually and it was really, really nice. I was surprised because I thought it had curdled when I put it in its tubs because it's separated. But actually, I couldn't tell at all. You can see in the pan here that it doesn't look bad at all. I mean, it's a kind of a gross colour. But it doesn't look like it's curdled or separated or anything. So it's pretty good. You just need to make sure you eat it warm, I guess. Um, I ended up making a few portions of this but not loads. I mean, I did just have this with green beans. I didn't really fancy having anything else, but I kind of wanted the sweetness of the green beans. So I put one of these tubs into the freezer and two of them in the fridge. This is my total list. I have recorded this for like a few seconds for you so you can screenshot wherever is best for you because I just couldn't get the camera to focus very well. So you work it out as you go. So that is me for today. I hope you like my video. Like, comment and subscribe down below as I would normally ask you to do. And let me know in the comments down below if you have any suggestions, hints, tips or tricks to do with keto. Um, I have tried to get back on track now because I am seriously struggling with my mental health as you may have seen in my last few videos. So I've really struggled to get back on track. I've been off track for ages now. But I had my keto coffee this morning that scared the life out of me sorry that was this hitting my hob <laughs> but yeah so as i say that's me so stay safe stay healthy wear those masks when you can and we'll see you in the next one guys bye